All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we have about, I don't know, 30 minutes until the start of the wild card round. You see at the bottom of the ticker here, everything is going and going well with the ticker, actually. Uh, been watching a lot of college basketball and hockey, you know, to start off the day. But Cleveland, Houston, probably the best game of the wild card round, you know, um, to be completely honest with you, you have that defense. Joe Flacco, who's just had a resurgence this year for Cleveland. Houston somehow luckily won the AFC South due to Tennessee's incompetent. You know, or rather, not Tennessee. I wouldn't say Tennessee was incompetent, but, you know, <laughs> I think I, I really wanted Jacksonville to kind of win, you know, the AFC South. I would have preferred, you know, Houston getting a playoff spot. You know, it would have been a wild card, but, you know, Jacksonville decided to just completely fall apart. It was their incompetence that had them fall apart. Thus, Houston took that spot, that number four seed. So they'll be playing in about 30 minutes or so tonight. Miami, Kansas City, Miami, who blew the AFC East to the Buffalo Bills. In Kansas City, who has just – there's all sorts of problems with Kansas City. Mahomes has a like himself. The wide receiving core isn't there. Isaiah Pacheco is Isaiah Pacheco, probably the only guy on the team that's playing pretty competent football. And this game is on Peacock. And we might get a Peacock game, you know, for the playoffs next year too, by the way. So, I know. Everybody's angry about that. So, um, the weather in KC is not very good. The weather here in Texas will not be good for the first game on Sunday, but at least that game will be inside the Green Bay-Dallas game. Yet again, Jordan Love looking like a guy who will be a franchise-type quarterback for the Packers. Of course, the red-hot Dallas Cowboys, led by my, led by the boys, Dak Prescott. C.D. Lamb, Brandon Cooks, you know, just and on the you know, on defensive side of the football, I mean, you know, Micah Parsons going up against that young Green Bay wide receiving core, Aaron Jones on the offense too, but young, young core of wide receivers for the Packers. And then Sunday night, Rams, Detroit, the golf, you know, reunion with Stafford. So the, these two quarterbacks have a history of being on each of their respective teams beforehand. So, yeah, this that game is probably going to be the other most interesting game of the week and at least the second most interesting game, that 4-5 or five matchup between Cleveland and Houston, just absolutely money. I mean, again, uh, Pittsburgh-Buffalo has been moved to Monday in the afternoon due to the weather. Um, Kansas City, again, has a, like a wind chill of negative 30. There's a snowstorm coming through, you know, up north. That isn't going to – it's it's too much. So the NFL, the state of New York was like, all right, let's move this game to Monday. And then Philly-Tampa Bay, the 4-5 matchup on Monday, it will be on ABC, ESPN, Philadelphia struggled completely. A.J. Brown is out. Um, other guys, you know, for example, for Pittsburgh, uh, T.J. Watt is out. But, you know, Tampa, Baker Mayfield and company have been playing. You know, they've been playing some pretty good football. They won the NFC South by default because the rest of the division just couldn't, just couldn't get it all together. Um and yeah, but with the way Philadelphia has been, they've struggled throughout this entire season. Um, but they really have struggled lately, losing games that they aren't even supposed to be losing. And they lost the NFC East to my Dallas Cowboys. So, you know, the wild card round, definitely a couple real interesting matchups here. Um, honestly, the seven seeds shouldn't be here. I, I think I've said that. Every single season since we've had the 14-team playoff in the NFL, Green Bay really shouldn't be here. Pittsburgh definitely shouldn't be here, um, you know, but complete incompetence by other teams brought these two teams here. So, honestly, for my prediction there, no, <laughs> no seven seeds are making it past 
the wild card round. Baltimore and San Francisco await one of any of the number of teams from this weekend. And honestly, you know, San Francisco has the script. They have everything ready to go, you know, with CMC, Brock Purdy playing well, Bose and company on defense with Chase Young now too. Um, the wide receiving core, Ayuk, Debo, Kittle, amazing stuff. Baltimore, I, I don't know what happens to them this year. Like They have played lights out good football for 75% of the season. The other 25% of the time, they've been blowing leads and stuff like that. But for the most part, when they've been able to keep a lead, they played excellent. Odell... You know, say Flowers, man, Gus Edwards running it in for like one yard TD plunges. And of course, Lamar Jackson was having an MVP type year and that defense as well. Just stunningly good. And at the end of the day, you know, when we get down to it, who do I think is going to the Super Bowl this year? <laughs> who do I think? Well, <laughs> you might not like this prediction. But I think this is a good prediction, and it won't be, you know, it, it. I just don't see, you know, a Kansas City team that struggled making it far. I don't see a Miami team struggling making it far. Buffalo's, you know, been very inconsistent, you know. And again, somebody's going to lose that Cleveland Houston game, and I'm thinking it will be the Houston Texans losing that game. So. Who do I think will advance all the way to the Super Bowl from the AFC? I, I, I'm just going to say it. The elite one, Joe Flacco, <laughs> and, and the Browns are going to the Super Bowl. I know. That's a crazy statement coming from me. But I think the Cleveland Browns are going to the Super Bowl from the AFC side. From the NFC, it's a little bit trickier to predict because, you know, San Francisco, you know, is that type of team to where, you know, oh, well, it's very easy to pick them. It's also very easy for me to pick Dallas, but I don't know if Dallas can't play well on the road at all. So uh, it, it's a tricky decision. But for me, what I'm thinking, my Super Bowl prediction is going to be, you know, just it, it, it's going to be one hell of a prediction. I've got the Browns on one side. And then on the other side, you know, you look at Philadelphia, I just don't see it. You know, you look at Tampa Bay, you know, I think they'll either beat Philadelphia pretty easily, you know, or Tampa Bay will somehow lose, you know, like they did the Philadelphia earlier in the season again. Uh, the Rams, you know, despite the fact that Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup you know, and Aaron Donald on defense, Kyron Williams, they've been playing really, really good. I don't know if it's going to be enough to stop Goff and Amon Ra and Montgomery and Gibbs. I don't know it will be, if it will be enough. And Detroit, you know, same problems as some of these other teams, you know, just pretty inconsistent on defense sometimes. You know, they, they will give up 30 points a game if need be. They will blow a game if need be. They will act like they've never played football before if need be. Um, injuries have played pretty much every team. So, you know, backup quarterbacks and everything this year have just been, you know, it's been, it's been a lot. So, you know, again, um, but San Francisco seems trendy, but I don't want to pick San Francisco here. I really don't want to. I feel like something is going to happen to the 49ers. I feel like something's going to happen. They've been injury plagued as well. So yeah, I'm gonna just say it. I'll just say it. I know. It, it's 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 gonna be a crazy prediction, but let me show you. Let me show you. My prediction is the Cleveland Browns versus my Dallas Cowboys. I know. I know. Is that really upsetting? Not particularly to some people. Is that a little bit biased? Maybe a little bit. Not too much. But yeah, that's my Super Bowl prediction. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Dallas, you know, will go on the road and they will beat San Francisco. Cleveland, 
will be the Baltimore Ravens. Go on the road, three straight games, beat Baltimore. Boom. There you have it. In the discussion. So um, this is the at least the first, at least two of the games are not as cookie cut for the wild card, but like the others are just like, do, do you even really want to predict the wild card round for some of these other games? Like Great Bay Dallas, that's pretty easy um, to predict. And maybe Philadelphia Tampa, that's pretty easy to pick, but Pittsburgh could do some nonsense against Buffalo. Um, so we got a fun, fun wild card weekend ahead. Two games today, two games tomorrow, two games on Monday. It remains to be seen how the wind and stuff like that and the snow and all the freezing stuff is going to impact the rest of the week. But, yeah, f- from me to you, uh, what do you think is going to happen this NFL playoffs? I'm going to see you all after the Super Bowl. So come back February 11th and see if my prediction is right. Honestly, I hope it's well, I, I hope it's right. I hope we get Cleveland Dallas. That's what I'm thinking for the Super Bowl. But you know, some people, you know, maybe like uh that's that's not what you want. That's not what you want. But you know, it is what it is. Make your own predictions. I made mine. That's just how I feel about things this year. So enjoy the games tonight, tomorrow, and Monday, and all the rest of the NFL playoffs. I'll see you all on Monday to talk a little you know, basketball because there's some craziness going on in college basketball right now. So, yeah, I'll see you all on Monday.